In this video, we'll look at the type of reaction for CH3COOH plus NaOH. This is acetic acid. This is sodium hydroxide. Sometimes you'll see acetic acid written like this here. It's the same thing. We write this COOH. It's a functional group. It's a carboxylic acid. So this H here is what makes acetic acid acetic. So you'll see it written like this. But in this video, we'll use this CH3COOH. So when we look at the products, products here, we have water, and then we have an ionic compound. This is a salt. So when we have a salt and water, we're thinking neutralization reaction. If we look at the reactants, we see that this is acetic acid. This is a good one to memorize. So this is an acid, and over here, NaOH, we see we have a metal bonded to an OH group. So a metal and a hydroxide, that's a base. Acid plus base, gives us salt and water, that's a neutralization reaction. It's helpful to memorize this table here of common acids. So when we look at our table, we see acetic acid, that's an acid, it's a weak acid. And then down here, NaOH, that's sodium hydroxide, that's a strong base. So this table, something useful to memorize as you go on in chemistry. We can also look at this table of common types of reactions. We know we have our neutralization. It's also a double replacement reaction. That's because the Na and the hydrogen, they trade places. So now the Na is with the CH3COO. So we have NaCH3COO. And the hydrogen goes with the OH to give us HOH, which is really H2O, water. So it's also a double replacement reaction. So one reaction can be categorized as two different types. This is Dr. B with a type of reaction for CH3COOH plus NaOH, acetic acid plus sodium hydroxide. Thanks for watching.